Okay, I'm back doing another recording with Hara on Elder Scrolls Blades. I've just been struggling trying to get a video to work properly. Basically, what I wanted to show you was, um, if you're familiar with the Sigil Shop now, I just wanted to point out the Divine Mail gear, which this may, may be nothing new to anybody, but this is what I'm after in the shop. Since I'm a two-handed wep weapon user, I don't have much interest in those 900 price tag versatile weapons but this is the part that intrigues me yada 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 making it as strong as those forged from dragon scale it counts as dragon scale for the purposes of matchmaking set so you can mix and match a number of different resistances into a dragon scale armor set <clears throat> excuse me and so that's what I'm working towards I have a few pieces of equipment already, but it's not like this is going anywhere, it's a big rush. It's the number of different, um, these divine pieces that I can mix into my build, use them very versatilely, specifically in PvP. But let's get to the store today. Now this is different every couple days, so unless you're looking at it the same time I'm doing it now, it's probably going to be different. We got a piece right here, the Flame Monarch's Crown. Um, this is enchanted and tempered for you. That's why it costs a little more, but it's still much more reasonable than the weapons. Um, I should purchase this. I'm sure I'll use it at some point. Back to the store. Oh, it's gone. Because I do know if you buy these, they don't go away. You can purchase multiples of these. Now, why would I buy the Flame Monarch's Crown and then go and buy two of these? Well, uh, these I can enchant with health. Three. This is by four of them. And then that'll give me four opportunities to enchant. And then I can acquire sigils while I wait for the next items to show up. There's several times where no pieces of mail will appear in the shop. And that'll give me time to uh, go back and get those pieces. Flashing, cleaving, bashing. So hopefully I can get, for a PvP build, I would have a high hit point enchantment, and then also have a high slashing, cleaving, bashing. And hopefully frost resistance would be good in PvP, spell resistance would be good in PvP. Um, let's, let's just enchant these while we're at it. Buy this. And put health on this. And then two and a half hours, we'll check back. What did you have in mind? What did you have in mind? First, you don't succeed. Try again. What did you have in mind? Very well. 
Here's what I have. If at first you don't succeed, try again. If at first you don't succeed, try again. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens later, but that's pretty much the conclusion to this video. Um, thank you all for watching. Until next time.